Copper. It's the third most widely used metal in the world because it's used practically everywhere. It's so important that it's often considered an indicator of the health of an economy. In this special edition of Trading Up, we take a look at the global quest for copper. Trading Up, a collaboration by the West Australian and Graffa. This episode is brought to you by Optus Stadium. Elevate your experience with premium hospitality. Aussie copper stocks have been going nuts this year. The biggest gainer amongst copper miners has been Austral Resources, up 60% since December. Others have seen some modest gains, but when you consider that ASX has barely moved in the last six months, these copper miners have outperformed the market. So why is copper the flavor of the month? Well, it's sort of essential for the transition to a green economy. Think of just about anything associated with going green. Wind farms, solar energy, electric vehicles, and they all need lots of the red metal to work. Analysts at City reckon that we'll need an extra 4 million tons of the stuff by 2025. That's about 20% more copper than the whole world produced last year. As you can see from this chart, demand for copper has been growing for a while, but it's set to rise faster in the next three years. But don't just take our word for it, the whales are saying it too. At its recent mining shindig in Perth, Rio Tinto, one of Australia's biggest copper producers, put demand for the element into perspective. Rio reckons for the world to hit Paris climate goals by 2050, we'll need the same amount of copper that Rio Tinto has produced over its entire 150 year old history. And with all this demand for the amazing metal, there are mergers galore happening. With BHP's $9.6 billion takeover of Oz Minerals, the biggest in Australia to date. Further afield, and Swiss mining giant Glencore has had a $34 billion offer for Canadian copper producer Tech turned down. Aussie microcap Celsius Resources was a recent target for another Canadian firm, Silvercorp. No deal has been struck yet, but Celsius shares are up 20% on the year to date. So, we need a lot of copper, but where is it coming from? Well, the good news is, mostly from Australia. Australia has the second highest copper reserves on the planet, with an estimated 97 million tonnes of the stuff still in the ground. Chile holds the most at 197 million tonnes, but second place ain't bad. So, cheers copper. We hope you enjoyed this special edition of Trading Up, and we hope to see you in the copper camp soon. We'll be back with our daily updates on the day in business on Monday. In the meantime, you can find more business news content and analysis on thewest.com.au and graffa.com. I'm Colin Ebsworth. We'll see you next time.